Lesson 48, Row and Column Level Security. To proceed with this lesson, you will need to understand basics about security in Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, and will restate this for your own benefit. Security can be set up either at the user level or at the role level. It is easy to maintain everything at the role level as the properties are inherited by the users. Only developers should get advanced access to the different functionalities of OBIEE. During development as developers, you can only accomplish your task if you get full access. It is possible to have two administrators, one responsible for the repository level administration tasks, while the other would be responsible for the presentation layer administrative tasks as well. You can allow a user or group to access the system only during certain time of the day using settings under the Query Limits tab. You can also limit number of roles that can be retrieved and disconnect users after a certain number of time of an inactivity. If there are multiple groups acting on a user or group at the same level with conflicting security attributes, the user or group is granted the least restrictive security attribute. An explicit permission, any explicit permissions acting on a user take precedence over any privileges on the same objects granted to that user through groups. Now that we established the basics, we will return to Fusion Middleware Control, Enterprise Manager, and redeploy the paint RPD which we've been working with throughout this class. So you will log into the Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control. Go to Business Intelligence, Core Application. Takes a few moments. On the Business Intelligence Instance window, click on Deployments, Repository, then click on Lock and Edit Configuration. Lock and Edit Configuration completed successfully. Click Close. Then Browse. And locate your Paint RPD. Select it. Click Open. Type the password for the Paint RPD, which is Admin123. Remembering that the first letter is uppercase. Click Apply. Activate Changes. Activate Changes completed successfully. Click on Close. And then the hyperlink appears to restart to restart to apply recent changes. Click on it. Click on Restart. Are you sure you want to restart all BI components? Yes. Click on Yes. Restart all in progress takes a few moments. Restart all completed successfully. Click Close. And then log out of Oracle Enterprise Manager. And return to the Analytics. Log in with WebLogic. This is only to help us verify and make sure that we have the new RPD deployed and that we can access it. So we can collapse this portion which was created by a different RPD. Click on Home. Analysis, and then Paint. That verifies that the new RPD was successfully deployed and we can access it. To demonstrate column level security, we need to set up a new group called East Group, and then we'll create a user called East User and attach that user to East Group. So we'll log in to WebLogic Server as Web logic. 
once logged in, you click on Security Rooms, My Rooms, and then change the tab from Configuration to Users and Groups, and then click on the Users tab, then New, and we'll create a user called East. And then we want to give East the same password. I mean, one, two, three. And then you click OK. User created successfully. Then go and create a, a group called East Group. And click on New. And we'll call this East Group. And then you click OK. Once these two rows have been these two rows have been created, the next thing that we want to do is create another user called South, and will also be followed by a group called South Group. So you go ahead and click on Users, click on New, and then give the name south with the same password admin123 then click ok and you switch the tabs to groups click on new then enter the description for this new group it will be south group you click OK. The group was successfully completed. Once the creation of these two groups, East Group and South Group, are successfully completed, completed, as well as the creation of two users, East and South, we want to associate those groups to certain memberships, as well as those users to these particular groups that they belong to. So we'll start with the groups. We'll open the East group, the membership. Then we'll go down to be our authors. And the parent groups we move from available to chosen. Then click save. And then We'll go back to users and groups and locate south group. Open south, click membership, PI authors, then add to chosen, then click save. Then return again to users and groups. Change the tab from groups to users. Open East, Groups, Associate East to the East Group, and then Save. Return to Users and Groups, Open South, click on Groups, Associate South, to the south group. And you click save and then users and groups and you can log out and then log into Oracle Fusion Middle and Control Enterprise Manager. So we'll log out of the administration console, open Enterprise Manager, log in as WebLogic, the administrative user. Expand Business Intelligence, right-click on Core Application, select Security, Application Roles. Again, under Search, change the application strip to 
no application strip and then return to Oracle Business Intelligence. The create a new application role button is made active. Click on it. Type east. And then east again. And then you click on add. And then on this part, choose user. And then you search for east. Find east in the elder server. Click on OK. And then OK. Add south again. You will notice that we started out with student. Then we've added east. So we want to add south. So it, south will be added in a different way. So what we'll do is we'll select east. And then click create like. And then we just change the run name to south. Change the run name to south. Click on this. Click on add. On the type, choose user. And then search for south. Once south comes around, select south, click OK. So south is now added to new groups, but we do not want him in east because it belongs to the east, to, so the south group and east belongs to the east group. So select east and then we delete east and this OK. So south remains with south then we'll click OK. So once those associations have been completed, the next thing that we want to do is log out of Enterprise Manager and attempt to log into Analytics using East as well as South. Log out of Enterprise Manager. Go to Analytics. Log in as East. Yes, remember password. We we're able to log in as East. Then we'll log out and attempt to log in as South. This is just for validation purposes to make sure that both of our new created users have the privileges of logging in. Click sign in and we want to remember password. So we're able to log in as South as well. So we'll sign out.